So hello fellow bank collectors, this is Glenn, and today, well, we're not talking about South Vietnam, okay, even though the banknotes are quite awesome. Uh, we're talking about Mauritius, specifically we're talking about the 1967 banknotes, and these come in four denominations, two of which I have here. So I have the two middle ones, I'm missing the 5 and the 50 rupee banknote, and yes, the rupee is derived from the Indian rupee because that's the currency that used to circulate it. But in the 1800s, they decimalized like they did in uh, in uh, oh, Sri Lanka. Yeah, that's it. That's the right country. So I'm not too sure why they decimalized along with Sri Lanka in the 1800s. I think it's like 1880s uh, from memory. Uh, but when, I, when we look at the coins, We'll talk about that. So, when these were first issued, they were equivalent to Indian rupees. But by nineteen sixties, you know, had been you know, at least fifty years. Actually, no more than fifty. About eighty years removed from the Indian currency system. So, nineteen sixty-seven, these ones had Queen Elizabeth II, who is on the banknotes, and they are quite big banknotes. So if, uh, do I have a, yeah, I've got a $20 in my wallet that I'm going to spend. So it's a $20 banknote, 2008, not really worth keeping. And I just got three, four, three. Uh, so you can see the banknote is actually quite big for 10 rupees. And so before that date, the 25 rupees was the largest banknote in circulation. So the 1967 had a blue 50 rupees issued uh, because inflation, as we all experience it, reduces the value of paper currency. Because uh, Mauritius had long gotten rid of the silver in their coins. I uh, believe the 1920s they'd done that. Or maybe it could be the end of the Second World War. So the currency was pretty much a fiat currency in 1967. And the designs are all quite basic. So here we have the coat of arms. As you can see, it has a dodo and an antelope. So the dodo is an extinct bird that used to exist on Mauritius until it was eaten by a lot of people because it was just so yummy. So... Let's have a look at the dodo. Wikipedia has good article on the dodo. Uh, better than a lot of other articles. Uh, and it's an extinct flightless pigeon. So I believe they have it on the current banknote. And it went extinct uh, about 1662. Maybe a few specimens of that animal. So, then we have Queen Elizabeth II, who was a head of state, but now Mauritius is a republic, so they don't have Queen Elizabeth II as the head of state. And these were issued because the Bank of Mauritius was established in 1967, and they took control of the issuance of currency. Uh, before that, all the currency was issued just by the government. So, pretty much it would have been just the department, probably part Department of Finance, uh, which is generally one department that issues banknotes. Here we have the two signatures. And on the back of the banknote, we have a scene from Mauritius. And, okay, oops. I'd like to know what that peak is. It's probably volcanic. It looks volcanic. Uh, an old volcano off Mauritius. And this just has ox cart. It looks like the plants that are growing in the background look like they might be sugar. And there's uh, um, some trees, evergreen trees. So this banknote in this condition probably costs about 20 to $30. Uh, these are not really cheap banknotes. They're a bit expensive. And we'll look at eBay and see what their prices are. And all of them, as far as I know, start with A. So 
A47. Go away, $20 banknote. And that's the coat of arms. So what's the other animal on the coat of arms? They look very curious because I don't think they have any dodos. Oh, no, they, no, they don't have any dodos. But they don't have any deer. So the deer. Maybe it could be Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Who lives on Mauritius. And... If, uh, so lower part, stars, blah, 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 blah. Okay, the first quarter, Azura. In the second quarter, a Lymphid. So, I'm not sure what a Lymphid is. In the third quarter is Palms. So that's their Palms. So let's have a look. So I've got Palms. What's a Lymphid? Galley, oh no, so that's a limpid there. It's a galley, a type of ship. Looks like stylized. Then we've got some keys. And yeah, whatever. So we've got a samba deer. So that's the type of animal. Do samba deer, they live on the Indian Song continent, South China, Southeast Asia. But I don't think. They're native to Mauritius at all. Uh, no, I don't think so. So, it's probably an imported deer with a native dodo. That's why the dodo is so big, because it didn't have any natural predators that were big enough to kill it. So, a little tender payment. So, this one's probably at least $20. Uh, I don't see any banknotes under $10. And here we have a government house, so it's probably the residence of the governor of the time. I'm not too sure if that's parliament house now, or well, probably residence of the president actually, that would be. Has a statue in the front. Looks quite nice, lots of palms because it's a nice warm humidity and it's European architecture. The watermark is the dodo. So there you go. Do do, don't eat me. Do do, do do. Okay, and this one also has the dodo. So these are quite interesting banknotes. Mauritius is quite curious. Uh, their income has increased quite a lot since I don't know, the 90s. I used to know someone from Mauritius in my past. Don't know them anymore. They got in a four wheel drive and drove away. And I'm not surprised if you knew me. You drive away as well. So here we have some sold items. So we've got five rupees. So as you can see, let's have a look at the five rupees and see what's on the back. So that's quite a nice banknote. Coat of arms is in the center now instead of down below. And oh no, we can't get the reverse. Okay, so here's the reverse of the banknote. Just as a ship. Mauritius, looks like there's a memorial there. And, uh, yeah, quite a nice banknote. That one sold for uh, $30. Got to include GST, which is 10%, you know. Need to pay our taxes. And so here we have some $15 for a pretty damaged 10. $26 for a 25 rupees. $21 for... One that's pretty much in this condition. So $20, um, 15 to $20. Five rupees is the cheapest, uh, $30. So that one, that one wasn't uncirculated. So then we've got a nice one, another nice one. So yeah, these ones get very expensive to hire the grade quite quickly. And here we have a matching free. So 10, 25, 50, you go fine, good fine. So these are low quality, but still $70. And here is the 50 rupees. That one sold for, da, 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 da. nah, it's not gonna load. It sold for 200 bucks. So really, very expensive banknotes. So last of all, 
here we have the 50 rupees as you can see it's in the same style the coat of arms down here uh, same signatures start with a and it doesn't have a backing let's see the reverse okay so here's one with a reverse I'm, honestly if you're going to put a banknote like this on any banknote just put two photos it doesn't hurt with a camera it takes like five minutes to do probably not even that probably a minute uh, and this one has the paw of Mauritius so that's uh and they're not exciting banknotes you know, they don't celebrate anything sp spectacular I like the modern ones the modern banknotes are actually a lot better and last of all hopefully one day I can get these modern banknotes so this is the polymer one 25 rupees roughly equivalent to a bad dollar I think and it celebrates things that happen in Mauritius now these guys farming anyway so this is where I'll leave the video not a cheap set to get but if you're interested in uh, Pacific Islands you know these are really good banknotes to get anyway thank you very much for watching my video I'll leave a link down below to eBay so you can check to see get Mauritius banknotes uh, I don't have these on my uh, eBay account because uh, these are part of my collection. Thank you and goodbye.